friends. I am doing another Valentine DIY today, and this one is one that I'm actually really liking. Um, I haven't officially like made one completely yet because I'm gonna be making it with you guys, but I think it's gonna be a really fun DIY. So today I'm gonna be making some Valentine candy jars. Now these are very similar to like the apothecary style jars, um, but they're just a tad different. I know I've seen people make apothecary jars on um, YouTube and I've actually made apothecary jars myself, um, but these ones are a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this and I'm pretty sure I'm going to put these in my family room when they're done because they're going to be fairly good size. So let's show you what we need for supplies and then we'll go ahead and get started on the DIY. Right. so I know that I showed in my dollar store haul um, that I got two of these large vases. So we're gonna be using these vases for this DIY that we're gonna be doing. I've also grabbed two of these candy dishes that came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I've got one here and I've actually already started painting the other one, but we're gonna get to that in a little bit. I also have, um, these are those table scatters that I showed in my um, haul that I did. And these are just the little red hearts and there was a pack of 50. I've got some of my favorite Fix All Adhesive Super Glue. I've got some of this extra fine pink glitter that we're going to be using. I also have some of these pork coasters. Now these came from the Dollar Tree and they're in a pack of four. And I'm going to be using these um, for the lids of the um, jar, which I will show you in just a little bit. Um, I have some ribbon and it's the pink ribbon with the red hearts and this came from the Dollar Tree. I have some scissors, some Mod Podge. Um, some glue and glue sticks, which my glue is heating up over here. And then again, I'm going to be using this Waverly chalk paint and it's um, the color is ballet slipper. There you go. And this came from this one came from Walmart. Um, so those are the items that you're going to need. Again, like I said, I have two of these, but one is being painted. So let's get started on making this DIY. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is we're going to start painting the inside of our small little candy dish here. We're going to paint the bottom side of the cover and we're going to paint the inside of the actual dish. Now I'm using that Waverly chalk paint in the ballet slipper and again this is from Walmart. And I'm also using um, like a wide brush and I have a little bit of the paint in one of these little glass bowls. Now I love these little prep bowls. These prep bowls came from the Dollar Tree. You can get a pack of three. I use these all of the time when I'm painting my crafts. So these are just really nice to have on hand because they wash up nicely and they're easy to store. So you're just gonna paint the insides. I've actually gone ahead and painted one of these already and it's just drying right now so again i'm just painting the inside and then i'm just setting them out to dry so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do with the second one i'm going to paint the inside and then i'm just going to set it aside and let it dry and you can put like a nice thick coat on your on your cover or on the top um, if you have to do two coats, go ahead and do two coats. I might actually do two coats for this only because chalk paint sometimes, um, there's, especially when you're using a brush with it, it, sometimes you can see the lines and streaks. So go ahead and do a couple of coats. Um, the first coat dry, this dries fairly quickly. So you could probably do another coat after about 15 or 20 minutes. So my top and bottom pieces are dry on the inside. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm gonna, again, use my flat paintbrush and I'm going to paint a strip of Mod Podge all around the outer edge, just like this. And I'm only gonna paint the strip, the width of the paintbrush itself. I'm gonna just go all around the top. I 
So it creates like a ring around the top of the jar. And then I'm gonna take my glitter and I'm just gonna put some of my pink glitter right on top of that Mod Podge. And I'm just gonna tap it off. And I'm just gonna wipe off the extra glitter. Um, you can either wipe it off now or you can wipe it off when it dries. Um, just gonna kinda get most of it off there. And then I'm just gonna set that on a paper towel to dry. And I'm gonna dump the rest of my glitter right back in to my glitter container. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the base of the candy dish. And I'm gonna go, for this one, I'm actually not gonna go around in a ring, but I'm gonna just, because there's these little grooves because there's these little grooves in the glass, I'm actually just gonna paint up and down a small strip, about the same um, width as the strip that we did on the top piece. And I'm gonna go all the way around. gonna just set that aside to dry there are my four pieces and they're just gonna dry and when they're dry I'll show you what the next step is gonna be well the paint is all dry and the glitter is all dry so now what we are going to do is we are going to take one of these coasters one of these cork coasters and again these are from the Dollar Tree they came in a pack of four and we're gonna take one of these we're gonna take our hot glue gun. I'm gonna bring this over here and the cover over to my hot glue gun. Now I'm gonna to explain to you what we're gonna use this for. Now, this is actually gonna be a top to our candy jar like this, but it kind of doesn't sit right on the top. So what we wanna do is I found that these coasters are the perfect size to fit inside that top lip. So we're gonna glue this coaster to the inside of the lid, just like that. I'm gonna move this one out of the way. Actually, I'll show you what this looks like. I already glued this one. So we're gonna glue it to the inside, just like that. Now how I'm gonna glue it I'm gonna use some hot glue and I'm gonna put some hot glue all around the ring and I'm gonna set it down in. And then once it's set in place, I'm gonna take the hot glue again and just put a bead of the glue around it just to kind of make sure it's sealed in place. So I glued this down and I'm just letting, I put a bead of glue all the way around the um, ridge of that. So now it creates a nice little boundary for this topper to sit. Now, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take four of these hearts, and these were the scattered hearts, the table scatter, and I'm gonna hot glue these, four of these hearts, to this little handle on the top, and I'm gonna just do them opposite each other. I'm gonna do one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, so that it's gonna look like that when it's done. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fix-all adhesive super glue and we're gonna put some on the bottom of our base like this. And I'm gonna be really generous with the amount that I put on because um, we're actually gonna be setting this on top of these bowls right here with the bowls facing down. And there's these little ridges, so you wanna make sure there's enough glue to like squeeze in between those little ridges. So I'm putting a good amount of glue on there. And this will probably take an hour or two to fully set. Then we're just gonna take it and flip it upside down, or right side up, I should say, 
and I kind of just give it a little turn and a twist just to create a seal and you can look down through the center to see if it's creating a good seal and we're just gonna once we have it where we want it we're just gonna let it sit there so now um, when these are dry we're gonna fill these up with our candies and now we have the tops dry as well and the tops sit nicely on the little jars and they look so cute for Valentine's Day. All right, so here they are guys. I put them over on my countertop along with this cute little chalkboard that I got from the Dollar Tree and this little framed card that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. I actually bought the frame and the card separate and then I put the card inside the frame. And so I'm just gonna keep these over here on my countertop so if anybody wants like a little treat for Valentine's Day, they are here. And I also added the little ribbon around the top portion of the glass jars. And I am just thinking that these are so cute. I am loving it. They came out super, super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY for Valentine's Day. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be on the lookout for more DIYs. Have a great day.